ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ به من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له اله الاولين والاخرين قيوم السماوات السبع والارضين واشهد ان سيدنا وحبيبنا قرة أعيننا محمد رسول الله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد سبحانك اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We praise Allah, we thank Him and we bear witness that there's no God worthy of worship but Him subhanahu wa ta'ala we ask Him to guide us and to strengthen our path in this deen till the day of Qiyamah. And we bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the last messenger sent to mankind. Uh, we pray may Allah send his salutation and peace upon him and his family and those who will follow them till the day of Qiyamah. I mean, may Allah make us among them. And today we hear Allah make it easy for us to stay in the masjid. They say one of the people, uh, among the people, the angels are making salat upon and they ask Allah to forgive. Is somebody who prayed and he he's remain in the place of the masjid, trying to make a vicar recite the Quran or waiting for the next prayer till the next prayer. The angels will continuously make it to offer the person. So it is a blessing. And a place where Allah's name is mentioned, it is an act of worship. The angels, there are angels, specific angels. They always go around trying to see where they can find those kind of business. The business of Allah. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Tijaratan lan tabu. This is a kind of business you will never lose. You don't have, there's no, no risk in that kind of what? Business. So may Allah make us benefit from it in this dunya and the hereafter. Some people, it is a blessing from Allah if Allah guide your heart to the masjid. Uh, don't take it for granted. It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because some people, they already somewhere looking for something else. Those who are looking for dunya, the other people are looking for even fitting, taking themselves to hellfire. But you and I, if Allah make it easy for us to remain in the masjid, looking for Allah's pleasure, we should always be grateful to Allah. Allah, we ask you to strengthen our path, our path in this, this deen and make us among the people of Jannah. Uh, we bring back the time of the, our classes of Saturday. On Fridays because we realize on Saturday there's no enough time and a lot of people also like they stay home not only that we have our mothers and sisters who are reading with for sons of Allah may Allah keep him safe also so we are going to make it every Friday now inshallah and use Saturday and Sunday for the brothers if we can start reading the way we used to read is going to be much better inshallah even if we have, we have to start from us, uh, following up, we will try to find certain after we learn a little bit that will benefit us and we will teach our children. May Allah make easy for us. Uh, we have been reading the hadith. We have been reading the hadith and we read the first hadith, which was about what? Hadith of Abu Hurairah, uh, uh, Abi Hafs, Amir al-Mu'minin. 
the hadith was about the knee and we read also the second hadith Umar bin al-Khattab he is the one also who narrated the hadith which is the hadith where the Prophet was asked about three things uh, not to say for Islam and Iman and Ihsan then the time the sign of the time and we read also the next one the third one where it is Abdullah ibn Umar the son of what? of, of Umar who related the hadith uh, where he mentioned uh, about Islam the pillars of Islam Buni al-Islam and Khamsi I think we all finish we have talk, uh, talking about, about it a lot of times today we are going to read the next hadith which is the hadith number four of the hadith of the book of uh, an nawawi rahmatullahi alayhi imam who collect those hadith and make it a book hadith al-rab say wa an abi amtir rahman and i say when they say abi it means the father and the Arab they used to call one another according to the sons. For example, if they want to call Al Haji Sapo, they will call him according to one his son. They will say Abi Muhammad, since he has a son who is Muhammad. You got it? They will say An Sapo Abi Muhammad. So this is how they used to say to say it. And they call, who can tell me the Prophet Sallallahu According to one of his sons. Perfect. They call him Abu Al-Qasim. They call him Abu Al-Qasim. That's how they call the Prophet Sallallahu the, the father of what? Al-Qasim. So they say, An Abi Abdul Rahman. And the authority of what? Abdul Rahman. The father of what? Abdul Rahman. So meaning that the one who is related to Hadith, one of his sons is what? His name is Abdul Rahman. And now they bring in his name. His name is what? Abdullah. His name is Abdullah. And when we say about the Sahaba, we only say Abdullah, we have a lot of Abdullah if they don't bring they don't specify we're gonna be lost. They say Abdullah ibn Maskud. And we all know him. Oh, we know a little about him. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. We wanna just make a uh, short, we wanna talk about him a little bit. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is a Sahaba, and if I don't I don't get it wrong, he's among the people like if he's sixth or seventh, the one who accept Islam. He accepted Islam very young and early in Mecca. And he migrated to what? He migrated to Habasha. When the first, uh, the first teacher, he migrated with them also. And then he migrated also to Medina. And he is one of the most be you know, beautiful reciters, like the wonderful reciters among the Sahaba. Till one day the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ask him to recite Quran for him, and he was like, ah, "Prophet, I'm going to recite for you. Why is upon you the Quran was sent? Is upon you the Quran was revealed? How can I recite for you Quran?" And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was like, "Yes, I want to hear it from somebody, like out of me. I don't want to hear it from myself." Then he starts reciting. So to who can know? Perfectly. Like you said, you should just take the mic. <laughs> so Ibn Mas'ud, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked him to recite Quran for him. As we know, a good Muslim is the one when he heard the Quran, he loves it, he doesn't want to run away from it. Of course, we all know, we all have our, our taste and our what? How you call it? 
uh, our favors. Like, what do you listen to? Uh, my brother, in citation, the way you feel is not the same thing when you listen to Hajj. It's, it's always different. But it's always good to listen to Quran. When the Quran, some people, when the Quran is start reciting, it doesn't matter who's reciting, they just run away. Those people, may Allah protect us from that. If you, you don't listen to the Quran, what is he, are you going to listen and you have the, 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 the blessings from Allah? So even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to listen. Till like, if I don't get it wrong also, one day he was passing, then he listened to, uh, what's, it, what, what's his name? Uh, Abu Musa al-Ashaq. He listened to him, he was in, in his room, you know, he was by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then he listened to him, he heard him. When Musa al-Ashaq just realized that he saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was like, wow, mashallah, Allah give you a very beautiful uh, voice. It looked like even the sound of the people of Dawood when they really sing their uh, song. So Allah really gave you the wonderful voice. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, he was like, oh, mashallah, if I knew you would listen to me, I would make it even much better than what I used to do. Though it's not, it's not showing off it's not showing off, it depends on your niya. For you to always try to improve your what? Your voice by reciting Quran. So, some people are like to bless them with the voice. We agree with that. And everybody has his own voice. You try your best to make it perfect. So, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, مَنْ لَمْ يَتَغَلَّ بِقْرَاءَةِ الْقُرْآنِ فَلَيْسَ مِنَّا Anyone who is not who did not beautify his voice when he's reciting, he's not among my people. Okay? So it's always good to realize to make it good. Because Allah wants something what he wants, what is good, perfect. Uh, Ibn Masud, he is one of the reciters of Quran, and he said he took the Quran immediately from the Prophet from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A lot of surah. He was like Eri Surat or something like that from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's close to A or something like that, if I don't remember. So it means he is he get it immediately from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he wasn't a very chubby man. He wasn't like when you look at him, he doesn't have shape like that. Till like one day he climbed a, a tree. Then the Sahaba saw his, his leg, and you know we are human, they start laughing. They start laughing at, them, at him. What kind of leg is that? Then the Prophet realized that he was like, you see you laughing at him, right? See, he said, Prophet said, if they put one of his legs in one part of the skirt, and they put all this uh, jabber, Meaning that all these kind of uh, mountains you see in another uh, plate of the skirt, his leg, one her leg, will overweight all those things. So respect him. So he's not a, a you know, a, a little man among the book. He is very, among the, you know, the very, and he already, he did all the, the, the battles of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was alive. All the battles he did it with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he passed away at the age around 60, when he had 60. So we want to say that he is close to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and when he is trying to always relate the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he's shaking. He's shaking, why? Because sometimes he will shake because he's scared of making a mistake giving giving uh, uh conveying the message of the, the prophet sallallahu you know how these people they really take care of that and he is one of the 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 sahaba also who saw a lot of people i think he was in iraq he saw a lot of people they were making zikr some people are saying la ilaha illallah and then like they make a, a circle in the masjid 
then they are counting their La ilaha illallah. Some people they are counting their Subhanallah. Then he went and he grabbed a lot of stones, throwing out upon them. He threw up on them, telling them that they bring him fitter. You have to count your mistakes, your sins. Do not count your what? Your deeds. Because Allah will give you more than what you do. So it shows us how it is not a part of so the people, you know, garden, la ilaha illallah. Other people who you know, Muhammad is not a part of his own. Nobody said the liquor is not good, but everybody do it in his own. Okay, may Allah make us understand. And what I have to mention about him also is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi asked him to recite that surah. That was the, the thing. To recite for him, and he started reciting the surah to Nisa, as Allah Sallallahu mentioned. Till like he reached the path where Allah is saying, فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جِئِنَا مِنْ كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ وَجِئِنَا بِكَ عَلَى هَاهُلَا إِشَهِيدًا So if, the way he related to that hadith, uh, he was like, it looked like the Prophet Sallallahu was even crying. The, he did not realize because the Sahaba, they shy to look at the Prophet Sallallahu eyes like that. That's the reason that the majority of them, they cannot uh, relate as how he is. The only person who did it is the old woman where when they were leaving Makkah, him and Abakar and some, some of the uh, servants of Abakar, they stopped upon on his house, her house, and he pressed the, the milk of a very uh, sick goat or whatever he is. Because he was a sick goat, the father or the owner of the house, meaning that the husband of the old woman went out with the other fo uh, flock, but the, the other one is weak. She couldn't even follow them. She's weak and she doesn't, it's all about bones. She's sick. So they just wait for her to die even sometimes. So when he got, he got there, they went there, the Pope Salah Salah and the Abakar, they went there because they were hungry. They were really hungry. Hunger and thirsty. So they saw that house and they went there. They are way in Medina. You know that they were hiding from the Mushrikeen Mushrikin of Quraysh. They stopped there and then they were like, Oh, you don't have food? Oh, woman. She said, No, we don't have anything. We are already uh, facing a very hardship, you know, this time, a trial. They were like, No, you don't have uh, animals who can even press something. Say, No, we don't have anything. Then, the, because the woman doesn't even consider that animal like anything. Then the Prophet said, ah, what about this animal, this goat over there? She was like, oh, this goat you see, you yourself, you see, it is what? All about bones. It's because she's weak, that's the reason why she couldn't even follow my, my husband to the bush, because my husband is taking the other flock to the, to the bush. And he took them like that because they don't even have rain, there's nothing, no grass. He just took them. Whatever it is. But you see that one is because she cannot even follow. That's the reason she stayed here. And the Prophet also asked her, Can I press the milk? And the old man woman was like, It's like you're not listening to me. This one you see over there is sick. There's no nothing, you're weak. It's all bones. And the Prophet also was like, Can I press the milk? And she looked at him so since you say it, and the old man, so the moment the prophecy just agree, the moment the prophet Salah even did not say anything, but the animal just approached the prophet Salah. Can you imagine that? Normally, you have to go and fight and bring it right, but the animal understood that this person is not, is not a, 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 an ordinary person. So the, 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 the animal come to the prophet Salah. Then the prophet asked for a bowl. And she brought a bowl. The Prophet Sallam put his hand and tape on her bre breast, right? How you say it? Nipples. And the nipples just pop like a ball full of milk. Then he starts pressing. Pressing. The whole house, the balls of the whole house is full. You don't have left? No. All the balls are full of milk. 
So the moment the Professor Alan was doing it, she was looking at him like that. What kind of person is that? She was really so that she looked at him from A to Z, up and down. She's the only one who like looked at the Professor Wallace perfectly and described him the way we know now. So she's the one who really described the Professor Wallace and then they put it in the books. Today we all read about how his uh, shoulders are, how he is, his eyes and so on. So the Sahaba, they don't used to look at him like that. The Shah. So when he was uh, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud was related to the Hadith, it looked like the Prophet was had been crying. It's just when he, he reached that ayah, that's the moment the Prophet started like a, a young a, a baby that is crying. Then he raised his head and he realized that the Prophet is crying. When he raised, he realized that the Prophet is full of what? Tears. The Prophet was crying. The highest the is talking about Fakifa. You know, how do you think? Everyone, every ummah, every committee, every ummah, every uh, nation will come with their shaheed, their witness, the one who will be in front of them talking, meaning that they, they are prophets and their messages. We will bring them and we jikna bik ala shahida. And you will be the one who will be who will talk you know against them or on their favor. Meaning that he's the, the leader, the door of prayer. He never saw them, but he is the leader. They are, their leader is they all will stand in, in behind him. That's the reason why uh, the people who are making mud, they say the one who has a leader as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is the most successful man on the world. If you have your leader, the one you follow, it's the Prophet, that's it. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he read and then he got there and then he, see the, he saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam really crying. It means crying, the Quran, the Quran, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in one hadith, but the hadith is not that strong. When you read the Quran, cry. If you don't cry, tomorrow you are going to cry. Mean after death. So sometimes it's good when you woke up, you open the Quran. Sometimes we think it is the meaning only. Allah, some people, they listen to Quran, they are not even Muslim, and they start crying. So if Allah make you, like, uh, sometimes you always have your eyes very, very dry all the time. Even if somebody pass away, you say, no, me, I don't cry. It's not Iman. Allah is not Iman. Don't praise yourself. We don't say that, you know, when somebody pass away, everybody should just, oh, you, oh, you. It's not that. But a person, we have heart. Even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he cried, the Sahaba was like, oh, you too? He was like, no, yes. The eyes will always pour tears and the heart will be touched. The, the heart will be in sad moment. So it is, it is a nature of a human being. But if you see a person always, he doesn't cry, he doesn't, nothing, nothing making him even cry. SubhanAllah, may Allah protect us. Those are kind of people. Some people they will say, me, I don't care. No one will talk to me, I will listen. SubhanAllah. It is not good things. Sometimes they, they, they say it, they think it is a pride, but they don't know that it's a curse. May Allah protect us. So this is what I have to say about Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. May Allah uh, be pleased with him. He is already pleased with him. May Allah make us among with them the door of Qiyamah. He said, Qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qala haddathana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just give me a second, please. I know. May Allah make it easy for you, inshallah, and for all of us. You know it's not easy. 
So he said, حدثنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وهو الصادق المصدوق وهو الصادق المصدوق حدثنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من عند the messenger of Allah peace be upon him talk to us من عند he narrated to us Okay, Haddafana, Haddafu, meaning that I narrate it. That's the reason we say hadith. When they say hadith of the Prophet because he said it, but in global Sharia we say he said it, and he agreed with it, even he did not say it, and somebody did it, he agreed with it, and he made also he did not say it, it's a hadith. So, Haddafana, Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the Prophet ﷺ, he is a sadiqul masduq. You got it? And he is what? A sadiqul al masduq. A sadiq means he is truthful. You got it? He is what? The most truthful you can find. The one who says everything is true. A sadiqul masduq. They believed, and Masduk mean when he said it, everybody believe. It is it is not a part of a, a character of a Muslim. When you heard the Prophet Sallallahu say something, you have another opinion. You bring your opinion. This is not Islam. It is not a part. When they call Muslim, is not is not the one when Allah or the messenger say something, they have something else. Me Allah protect us from that. So the who who saw the call must look here. Ibn Masood is telling us the character. He is approving that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is truthful and he is the only person when you say something, he says something. Everybody believe in what he said. Saw it and must look. And he said, "Qal." He said, "Inna ahadakum yujma'u khalquhu fi batn ummihi arba'ina nutfatan, thumma yakuna alaqatan." Okay. He said, "Anyone of us." And he said, "Certainly and virally, right? How we say it? Virally, right?" Verily, okay. Verily, each of you, each one of you, okay, is brought together in his mother womb. Button here, they say abdomen. When they say button, it's just the what? The stomach. All right. Each and every one of us we brought, okay, together, okay, to the stomach of his his mother. Button womb here. أربعين من دا أربعين يوم من دا فوري ديس نطفة. It is a liquid. Alright. When the creation of a a baby start start as a what? A liquid that came from the father. And the other one that will it it will come to the mother side also. And it will stay there for what? Forty days. In the form of what? A drop fluid, right? Summa yakunu ala qatam mithla thalik. Summa yakunu summa and then when it is summa and then yakun it will be ala qatam mithla thalik. You understand? It will become what? Then it is a what? Clinging. Okay? It's going to be like a small flesh. Alright? It's not flesh yet. It's kind of a glow form. Okay? It's a clinging, like it become kind of a... Uh, I say it. I, my English is that. That part. <laughs> okay, it's going. It's going to be uh, an object 
you conform with blood. You got it? In the, eh? What? Clock, right? Perfect. You got it? It's going to be like that. It's going to be a clock in the, in the, in the womb of the what? The, the, you know, your, your mother, your mother, for 40 days. Method of that, 40 days. All right? Thumma yakunu mudla, mithal dhalak. Then it will be a flesh, mudla. Okay? Kind of, we say flesh, right? How we say it? Flesh. Okay. It's going to be what? For 40 days, it will become what? A flesh. For that uh, particular period. How many days? 40 days. We have how many now? The first 40, it was like a, a liquid fluid. Stay, and then you have a clot, then you have a flesh. One to one. You got it? How many months? Three months. Perfect. You have three months where the flesh is already what? Four. 124. Four months, right? All right. Format 120 days. And then, Thumma Yursam Ilayhi Al Malak. From four months, Allah will send a what? An angel, a Malak. Fayam Fufu Fi Yurohe. Then the angel will what? Blow and put a soul inside that flesh that exists in the womb of the, the man. So you realize it is already a, a human that is, it's not human yet, but it is already something, a life that is in the womb of a Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that moment, moment, it is haram, haram to kill to kill a baby. Anyone who did it, the day of Qiyama, the baby will say, "Be ayy dambi, kutil it." That's what he said. Uh, he said, "Sort of taqwib." They said, "What's the ayah before be ayy dambi kutil it?" Yes. 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 Uh, uh, way some way. scholars say just yeah, leave it yeah. and you don't know Allah is the one who is control in control of it even if some scholar give their opinion saying that when the the science realize that there is going to be arm and so on and so on but what is good is after form it's not it's not your it's not your business because Allah is taking care of that so we are protect us he said, yeah. Then he will go and blow in that, uh, put soul in that flesh, uh, and then Then it will order four things. Like the angels will what? Will, you know, decide or decree. Or we can say also that Yu'mar, meaning that he will order command four things to, the, uh, to that life that is there. All right? The angel is then sent to him and he breathes into him, meaning that he blow into him. The angel is then command to issue four decrees. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is recommending the angels to what? To issue upon, to put upon that life for things. A decree. What we know that we already read about decree, right? Al Iman, Al Tumina Billah, O Malayukati, O Kutubi, O Rusuli, O Yomil Ahi, O Al Qadari, Hairi, O Shari, the decree, O Al Qadar. 
That's what we did in Anzalna in Filena Filena Al Qadr. So this is decree, meaning that the four things the angels will do is a decree, and nothing will change the decree. Illa Dua, except the Dua. There are certain decree that will never change. You got it? If Allah decided that the person will be a, a, a female, there's no dua you're going to make and it will change. I don't know if you got it. <laughs> Perfect. There are certain decree you're not going to change it. This is, is the, uh, you know, Allah did, did it, it's a day, it is day and, day and night, then you will spend your whole year asking Allah to make it always day, it will never happen. So those things, we all know that certain decree, you will kill yourself to change it, it will never change. It's only certain things you know, like what is decree on you, you can, on your behalf, you can, you work on it and ask Allah to help you and then Allah will change it. May Allah make us understand. The problem, I said it before when we were reading the decree stuff, the decree is so confusing till like a lot of people, good people, have been led astray because of that. If today you hear about Qadriya and Mu'tazila, all those things, it's because of Qadr. Al Qadr, the decree is a very deep thing. That's the reason if you have it, you'll become like the closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when something happens to you, you see always Allah. And some people they see, ah, why? Why always you suffer like that? And you, you don't see the suffer, but for them, they complain. And you, because you understand, is that Allah decided for you. So may Allah make us understand. So may you be our body. He will be what? Order to comment to issue four things, four decree to the to the life to record his <coughs> sustenance. Well you will marrow the arrow. The first one is what? Rizqi. His word. When they say risk, it's not just the people we see, there's no dollar. Okay? <laughs> when they say subhan, but most of the time when we hear risk, we always oh Oh, I, nice car, you know, no, it's not only that, it's all combined, money, but the first thing is that you, what you going to take with you, meaning that it's the thing you will eat today, like this one, the, the buoy I have in front of me, well, Allah, since I was, before I, 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 I born, it has been already decreed. This buoy, I'm drinking here, it's already decreed that in the, this person, he will drink this buoy. And the buoy who brought it is Sako who will bring it, the one who will serve me, Al Haji Abdul, Abdul Karim, and where is going to be in America. If in the beginning, when I was born, they told people like that, they would say, No, you are, you are dreaming. Because I was born in a village far away in West Africa. How can it happen that I would drink one day buoy in America, in New York, in Harlem? Nobody will, will, will believe in that. But Allah already put that. Allah. SubhanAllah. And this has been even did before even the creation of the heavens and the earth for like 50,000 years. So may Allah make us understand. Wallah, the decree, SubhanAllah. I love that chapter, the decree, the chapter of decree, because it's so large and it's so confusing because uh, a lot of people don't understand. All of us, even the, 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 the some, some prophet even, you know, get trapped in it. When I told you the trap of between Musa and, and Adam, right? Isa and Adam. Because he was, the Musa, you know, Musa is a very tough, you know, man. He always, like, he, he doesn't play. Fire, fire. He was com complaining to Adam, it's because of you. How can you? Allah created you and then he put you in Jannah. It's just one thing he prevents you from eating. You eat it and then today we, we hear. <laughs> eh? He, Musa was complaining, and then Musa, uh, Adam was like, Hey, Musa, are you going to uh, yell at me about something Allah made 50,000 years before, before even I was created? Because this is in, in, in Qadr, because the first thing Allah created is what? Qadr. 
the pen, the pen. and he asked he, he asked the pen the, to write what is going to happen. You understand? So it means Allah knows also that Adam will get a trap in the trap. He already write. Whatever he, he will spend in that trap. So may Allah make us understand. So the qadr, the decree, the fall of decree is very important. He said, what is key? Meaning the risk, your wealth, the money, the children, your husband, your sustenance. You just make it like global like that. Your sustenance. What you are going to need in this dunya, what you are going to earn, it is always written before even you born. It meaning that even the moment the angel is even blowing, it's not the moment it's written. It has been written even before that. Before your mom even born. But we consider the, the moment Allah make it connect to you is when the angels come and blow that. And he already write what you are going to need in this day. That's how you will realize some people I don't know any any one of you who get close to somebody who pass away before they pass away. You will try to give them water. Anytime you put it, it will come back. It will never go. It means the amount of water the person is supposed to drink. It has the limit. The the lease is already down. The lease of the water is already down. You try to put food, it will always come back. You try your best. If you force and you put all those kind of tools and you put, it will come out in another way. You will see the person will uh, will take it out, you know, through toilet, and you will see only food. I see it. I saw it. When it time came, that's it. The person cannot even eat anything else. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So today, if we are killing one another, we are accusing one another, he took, oh, it's because of him. Otherwise, I would be having read today. This is uh, the expression of Kufa. The disbeliever are the one who are saying that. It's because of him. Otherwise, that job, I only got it today, I'm a millionaire. SubhanAllah. Where did you put the qadr of Allah? SubhanAllah. So may Allah make us understand. So risk, your risk, whatever you need in this dunya, Allah already decreed. That's how you will see some people, they will work hard, 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 hard. The moment it's time for them to enjoy it, they will just go. That one is not for them. They just work for other people to come and benefit him. It's not for him. That person, if he knows that that money will never benefit him, he will never kill himself. I'm going to kill myself for is your children? They will tell him, is your children? Come! What children? They will say, what children? Because I'm going to kill myself. He will even say, what did my father even leave me and I'm going to kill myself, or my, my, kill my dean and leave money for my children? He will say it. If he knows. But we don't know. But Allah already told us to be careful. When we look for our money, Look at the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to seek it in a right way. Sometimes Allah decree that you are going to have money, but because you are too, you are rushing too much that you will, you will find haram and you will take it. And when you take it, that's it. You support to remain, you know, carry and suffer, patience, and then you, at, the, at the end, Allah will give you your halal. You will have even barakah in it. But today we rush. Today even in our countries, people are killing children for money. Kidnapping children for money. Can you imagine some people even go to the graveyard and they want to even have uh, uh, intercourse with uh, dead bodies to make them to become what rich? Because they went through their yeah, evil doers, they ask them, you have to do this. Some people, they will ask them, go and take shower in a graveyard in the middle of the night. This is how what is happening now. People are worshipping money. 
which the angel already tell you what you, you are going to eat. So may Allah make us understand. Respect and wa ajali. Wa ajali means your life. Like how many years are you going to stay? How many days? How many seconds? How many minutes? Certain children we know they just born. They cry one, two, and their soul is gone. Some of them you will even go and do, you know, name ceremony. Then later on they say he has fever. We don't even know what it is. Oh, it is a child. He doesn't even have a uh, mouth to talk. And they will try and try at the end. The child will pass away. Someone at the age of 15 go. Some people, they go over that. But one thing we have to know, the Prophet Sallallahu said, my ummah, my nation age, average age is between what? 60 and 70. Anyone who passed that is a little few of them who will pass that. That's the reason why Ibn Abbas he said there are time of the Allah. Anyone who reached the age of 40, he will cut. He will cut his relation to dunya and focus on Akhir. So may Allah make us understand that. The next one, Ajali, meaning the Ajali. That's what we, I have explained it here. Sometimes when we pray, oh, may Allah give us long life and so on. It's not long life itself. When we say long life, there's Ajal already. Ajal. Ara Allah di written it. In Quran he said, la khirul sa'ata wa la He's not going to make it postpone it or he's, gonna, he's not going to make it, you know, before it. When the time came, the time will come. Tell like in Israel, they talk about one person by the time of Suleiman who is supposed to, to die somewhere else. But the angels, the angel visits Suleiman and then he saw that person. And when you look the the length or the the distance between where the person is, it is impossible that the person can even get there in three days or four days. Or it is the same day the person is supposed to die. Then the angel was like, "Wow, how can?" I? Then what happened no, 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 no. is Israelite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Certain things. Uh, Israelite meaning that the story that came from the, the, what, the people of the Jewish. So sometimes you take it, we can take it and encourage each other to understand the thing. It's not like we have to believe it 100%. We take it if there is a wisdom behind it. Okay. He was like, they were like, when they, they related, they said, the angel then looked at him, like he became a human being and looked at the, the guy. Feel like the guy got scared. When he was scared, he asked Suleiman to make him disappear. You know that Suleiman has, you know, a lot of genes who are behind him. They can just take a person in a blink of eyes, you are someone. Today you are here. The next day you are already in Abidjan and in uh, in Grand Plan Plan Plan. <laughs> so what happened that like he asked a favor from Sayyidina Suleiman and the angel just uh, that Jim just took him in a blink of eye he reached the place. That's where Angel Jibri just bought him and then took his soul. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Angel, angel, angel of death. Uh, yeah. Take his soul. And he came and said, okay, your guy, I finish with him. <laughs> I finish with him. Meaning that your agent, when it comes, it will never delay. And they're not going to make it earlier. It's the time is time. So what make our, when we pray for a long life, so we're not supposed to pray? It's just we say it. But normally what is required, we understand, what is really required, we are not committing sin by saying it, but what is required to put barakah in your life. Now, now, now. 
Perfectly. Yeah, perfectly. The, the Qadr can be changed. That's what the majority of the scholars, that's what I, I told you. Certain Qadr cannot be changed. You remember that? So that's what I say. The majority of the scholars, they say your, your, your length or your life, the moment you are going to live in this dunya, it is already dead. Right? It will never change. It's just Allah will put barakah according to what you do. You will do actions that look like you have been staying for 100 years while you only spend maybe 40 years or 50 years. But the Prophet also said, the best among you is the one who has a long life and then he make it full it with a lot of good deeds. That's the reason why there is the one dua where the Prophet is telling us is making dua. We make dua if they are staying in this life is better for us to make Allah make it long. But if what is better for us is the short to make it short. There's dua like that. Okay, so there's no problem for people asking for long life. But what I'm saying, when people are praying for long life, they should also add also baraka. That's what the Prophet told our what? Our mother, because she was to make him pray. Allah, make my husband, Prophet Muhammad's life long. Make my, my brother, Muawiyah, long. My father, Abu Sufyan, make him, and so on and so on. Then the Prophet was like, hey, you bring him, you bring him, you know, fitna. It's already written, but you can pray that may Allah put a barakah in the life of, you know, the people you love, you love. So may Allah make us understand. So wa ajalihi wa shaqiyyu. He said wa ajalihi, and he said wa amalihi, and then his actions. His what? Actions. The angels will come and write any kind of action the person will do. That's how you realize that the cutter is not easy. So it means if I go and then I do wrong, ah, people tell me that it's wrong, I will say, no, the angel already <coughs> write that. Some people are believing that. They say, if you went and drink alcohol, it's already decreed. So nobody should not accuse you for anything. It's the decree. That's the reason, that's how they, they go, it's, they, they, they let themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. You will repent. Perfect. So the thing is to hear to say actions. Allah already uh, uh, decree the angel already write the action a person will do in this dunya. That's the reason why you see some people they already plan something. The next day they they pass away. The last time I heard what is so sad is. A young, a young man who really work hard, he want to get ma get married. And when he get married, the same day when he get married, he pass away. All this time he has been working. It means he would never leave. He he's not going to live more than a day as a a married man. Allah will really decree that. So that's the reason why when it come to when it comes to our actions, especially relating to the thing, we should always rush and do it. Because you don't know what is waiting for you. And whatever you do, realize that it's Allah who makes it easy for you. It's Allah who makes it easy for you. In good way. I mean, when you do good, it's not because you're strong, you have Iman, but it's Allah who makes it for you. But when anyone plunk himself, always doing wrong, he shouldn't blame anyone, or illa nafsi. He shouldn't blame anyone except himself. Because inna hadina hu sabila, imma shafiran, wa imma kafuru. Allah only open us what is good and what is bad. He said, Allah guide your, your soul and you see it, what is wrong and what is bad. So, 
na jidai. That's all what I have said, so showing us that is two things. Either you choose what is good and you do it, Allah will help you in it. You ask Allah to help you and you will be in it. Or you, the person will follow what is bad and the person will have the punishment. May Allah protect us from that. And then the amal. La wa amal wa shaqiyun. Here when they say wa shaqiyun. Subhanallah. So, so Shaqi here is somebody who will be a, a one, meaning that Shaqi, Shaqa. It means somebody who will be in wrong doing. He will, be, he will never be happy. He will be unlucky man. Okay? The person will be unlucky or sa'i or a lucky man, happy man. All right. Right, right, right. So, so mean that uh, the Prophet uh, is telling us that some people, that some people they will be the they, they will be miserable. Some will be miserable. Some will be what? Honor. Allah will honor. Okay. So here the Prophet is continuing and he said. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Inna ahadakum Awsa'in And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Fawallahu la ila fawallahu ladhi La ilaha qayr The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Swear by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that la ilaha gayr there's no god where do you worship except him i swear by that that uh, that allah that god inna ahadakum inna ahadakum anyone of, of you eh ya'mal bi amal ahli al-jannah he will continuously do the actions of the people of jannah like we are now and we pray now to keep us in jannah People, you will see one of you will keep uh, doing an action of a person of what? Of gender, people of gender. Hatta, hatta ma yakun baynahu wa baynaha illa dira. Till between him and the gender, there's no distance except an inch. You got it? For him to enter gender, the person will continuously do uh, good things. Till a little left for him to enter gender, then the book will come and then the book will come and what? And yeah, no, the will will come for yes, people mean that yes, people here. Devant ses Le. Devant ses copains. Fayas, il y a un peu de Who can do it? I don't even have the. Eh? The book comes before. Yeah, it will run after him. Like it will come, it will defense him. It will go over him. Before him. Eh? Get to him perfectly. Then the book will get to him. Mean that the, the book will come. We, we know the book, what is God talking about, right? It's not the regular book we talk about. Okay, the decree. Perfect. The book. What the angel has wrote, written, it is the decree. That's what the prophet also called what the, the book. Till like the book will come, okay? And then catch him. Perfect. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Ratape, voila, 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 overtake him, right? right, right, right. Okay. okay. Till like the book will overtake him, right? right, right, right. And then the record, what is in already record, will overtake him. Okay. And he 
he will do something that will take him to Jahannam. Facebook on the Kitab, Fayamal, the Amal, the Yamal, the Amal Ahlina, Fayad Kula, in another narration. Then he will do something that will take him to hellfire, then he will go to hellfire. That's the reason why when we always read every time, 17 times at least a day, he did not say, Rata, Mustafa. It's still Jamjam. We will never stop it till Jamjam. Inshallah. Meaning that there's no guarantee. A person shouldn't say, Oh, look at these people. Oh, they too. They are too much. One lie. You have to think about yourself. Leave them alone. If you see a person in bad, pray for them. And ask Allah to strengthen your heart in this day. Because there's no, you don't have any guarantee that is telling you that you'll go to Jamjam. I think uh, we are going to stop here. Of course, the, the opposite also happened. He said, You will see a person always swimming in scenes. The people of uh, the action of the people of uh, Hellfire. The person is really taking shower in it, even. <laughs> like, He will always do. The action of the hell, the people of hellfire. And then between him and the entrance, uh, entrance of hellfire, it is like uh, a distance of an arm. And then, then Facebook Then the book will come and overtake him, because Allah already write write that he will be the one saying he will be the happy one. You understand the meaning of happy now? When they say happy, you are happy in this dunya. The happiness is not in this dunya. The happiness in the hereafter. Hey, come here. Ka. C'est lui avec le petit de Mohammed là. Sit down. Almal. Almal, come here. Come here and sit down. So, Fayez people are in the Kitab. When they say Fayez people, that's the word I want to really again uh, talk about. That's what we call Musabaka. Uh, you will see it, we say Musabaka. You heard the, 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 the name Musabaka, right? Musabaka means the competition, the contest. The competition will come. It's like the person is doing something, then also the, the decree is also doing something. Okay, then the decree will take him over because a person will never take over his decree unless he work for him. Okay, then the <laughs> when you were playing, he did not ask for water. The moment you got sit down, you never go anywhere. <laughs> what do you say? He want to he want water. <laughs> Subhanallah. <laughs> So, so yes, Beko, Alehil Kitabu, Fayamalu, be Amal Ahil Jenna Fayed Kulaha. Okay, then the book will overtake him, then he will do an action of worship that will take him to Jenna, then he will make it and then he will go to Jenna. How you gonna realize some people will find uh, Jenna very easy? Some people get Jenna so, so easy. Wallah. A person just come and then he say, oh, 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 Professor Allah Allah Allah. he already dressed like a, a, a fighter during the Prophet Allah Allah. Allah. He will just go, he just came, that person just came to Prophet Allah Allah. Uh, Prophet Allah Allah. I'm, I'm going to become Muslim or I just go to fight? He said, become Muslim, then you go to fight. And he said, then he enter in fighting, they kill him. The Prophet Allah Allah was like, look. He just, you know, find Jannah very easily like that. Eh? Eh? You Allah, without pray? No pray, no pray. He doesn't even know how to do ablution. That person never know how to do ablution. The zakah, he doesn't know what it is. He just came like that. Maybe he wouldn't even drink alcohol. It's an sahaba, sahab, we're going to say that. But it's an example I'm giving. But he just came. He just, in a second, he said, Shalallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is in Jannah. Look at us today. We suffer. Since we born, we are in. So may Allah give us the orders. Because it's not easy. There's no guarantee, brothers. 
don't see yourself like oh me i think i'm done because some people think they are done feel like they are they have opportunity they have power to give people oh you don't have to pray you don't have to fast some people even tell some other people that oh in general i will take you i will put you in my pocket and go to jail i'm telling you and they believe me i don't blame the one who said it i really look the people who believe at those people may i report it all of us inshallah next week we will go in detail according to the sharing the commentary of the sheikh inshallah may i accept from all of us what we have said what is wrong may i report uh, to forgive us is from shaitan from our weakness and what is right may i make us uh, act upon it subhanallah wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Here, uh, Samir, do I go? Hey. No, no, no. If you need it, I don't want to.